we talked about moving from shift down to shift left, but there's another movement that started to happen, which is how do you shift up? Of how do you democratize the benefits of artificial intelligence across the data real estate? I was listening to a great quote by recently by the NVIDIA CEO, which talks about that this could be the whole GPT-3 LLM movement could be the almost the iPhone movement for the world of software. So as Atlin, we want to be early on it. What does what do we mean by shift up? We believe that artificial intelligence will impact all the data tools across the stack. And in fact, we made an early investment. So last year we rolled out Trident, which is our internal assistant for in the Atlin universe, which helps our data teams enrich, suggest, nudge for documentation. In fact, till as of now, this assistant has contributed to one third of all description updates that have happened on Atlin. But we wanted to take this a step forward. We want to feel like 2030, but 2030. So we, we are continuously experimenting of how do we bring AI across the data stack for governance. We're going to jump back to the, to the product again. Now we are going to go into the glossy section of the product, which is the more which connects the business world to the physical world, the semantic world to the physical world. So let's open up some business terms. Let's look at supplier in supplier invoice. If you look at if you look at on the right, you will see a description. This is our internal rule-based engine, which suggests some description that already might have been set up. If you like it, great, apply it. But if you don't like it, you can go and ask the Trident AI. Trident AI goes, generates a description, looks like it generated a description. I can apply that. Boom, the enrichment is done. Let's look at readmes. Who does not like to read a readme when they land on a data asset or a business term to understand what's happening? But very few of us wants to actually write it. So let's see if we can get Trident AI to write some of these readmes. As soon as we click this, we send the right context to the LLM models that are available and we bring README, generate rich markdown with some links uh, on the product. Now, while I was doing this, some of you might be wondering, do we need to do one at a time? Because maybe I have a ton of business glossary, I have a ton of data assets, hundreds of data assets, and I want to just unleash this AI, unleash this Trident. So we're going to, at Atlin, we also invested in concept of playbooks which is rule-based automation engine, which helps you do bulk automation to do enrichment and governance. One common theme we've seen with customers as uh, they onboard with Atlin, they want to start with governing the most popular assets. So let's take a simple example. We've set up this for this playbook. They want to find all assets where maybe the number of queries that are running in the last 30 days is greater than 10. Number of users that are using this are greater than one they see that there are 16 assets that are matched. They want to update them as verified, the blue tick or the green tick I talked about. But now we've also opened up to Unleash Trident. What that means is, what this will do as soon as I update is, and you can set it up on a recurring basis, it will regularly find all popular assets. And if it does not find a description, it will start enriching them or verifying them because they are popular and you want to make sure they are verified for the assets. A few other examples, similarly in the world of SQL. Let's start with, this happens a lot in SQL. A lot of people make a lot of syntax errors, issues. Not everybody is equipped with SQL. Uh, if, I, if I run this right now, this shows an error. Again, what I can do, Trident is ask this saying to fix the query. And if the AI loads, are doing okay, they would do that. So what it came out is it fixed the query, told us what needs to be fixed, added the right queries. And now if I run this, the data is available. So democratizing knowledge, democratizing access to data, improving SQL. Let's take one more example. Let's say this is a complex query. A colleague has sent this to me. I have no clue what this does because I want to make edits, but I want to quickly understand this. So let's first ask, Trident to explain this. 
what it does is in English language, natural language, it explains the complex query. If I want to now want to change this, maybe I can add some more queries, change this, and run this. This shoots actual queries to your warehouse Snowflake and gets you the data. Now let's let's look at maybe some natural English prompts. I don't know SQL. I want to just this is what I need. Very simple. I want to just find all orders made before 2021. Simple English statement. Let's see if it can just complete and get, get the answer. It gets the data, it gets builds the SQL query and looks like AI as an error as well, did not complete it. So let's go to the next example. So let's take one of the most complex ones, which is you have multiple joins, you have invoices, you have customers and you want to join them. You know what you want to get to, but you don't know how to write a complex join. Again. You have AI to the rescue. You have the SQL query. You run this, you will get the data. Now, a lot of this in beta, feel free to reach out for especially customers who are trying to get early access, would love to help you folks and get a lot of feedback around these models.